don't know how you fuckers didn't get it. I really don't. I mean, in the beginning, Jim was a small town player. It really only mattered in Southie. But don't get me wrong, he was a tough motherfucker, but small time. And then the next thing you know, he's a goddamn kingpin. You know why? Because the FBI let it happen. Carly. Jimmy. This is potentially the biggest opportunity the Bureau will ever have had in the history of the city of Boston, and you need time to think about it? Before you go flying any further off the handle, it might help to recall that Whitey Bulger is an ex-convict. Yeah. And that his parole category is supervised release status, a designation that we would be required to get withdrawn or else we would be in violation of Bureau regulations. So? We withdraw or we violate. What we don't do unless we're clinically insane is boldest chance. And by the way, it's it's Jimmy, not Whitey. The only thing you're gonna get by calling him Whitey is a fucking smack. Oh, is that so? So I'm supposed to cater to this fucker's whims. If it brings you Angelo, yes. And what makes you so sure that he's gonna be a reliable source? Because in my experience, every one of those Winter Hill pricks is a double-crossing cocksucker. I grew up with him in Southie. Jimmy, his brother Billy, and me. And that is a bond that doesn't get broken. I mean, if he gives me his word, he will keep it. So we're relying on the word of criminals. Jimmy's no ordinary criminal. Well, you're right about that. A uh, vicious animal who won't take no for an answer. Violent decisiveness at any hint of betrayal. Oh! A ripened psychopath determined to succeed above all else. I've got a lot of respect for you, Charles, but I cannot fucking believe what I'm hearing. Four mafia murders in the North End this month alone, and we don't have a legitimate case on any of them. The Anjulos are out there laughing at us like we're fucking a bunch of clowns. A bunch of clowns. Come on, guys. If we're serious about bringing down the Italians, Jimmy is the only way. What about these LSD experiments in prison? He can't be stable. He did it for time off and money. And it was a handful of times. It was 50 times, John. Just trust me when I tell you he is a smart, stable motherfucker. What do you think, Morris? I think that uh, we have more to gain than to lose on this. I think we go with John. I think we bring Whitey, uh, Jimmy, into the tent. No drugs, no fucking murder, Carly. 